Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to do FanDuel's makeup. I did the makeup on Ashley here as you can see. This video is a bit of an experiment because I tried to do extreme contour and it was really fun to try and I hope you learn something from it. So let's start. Before we start with the makeup itself, I would like to briefly review a wonderful pair of lenses that UTDI has sent us. These ones are called Real Crystal and I can always say they exceeded both mine and Ash's expectations. I will confirm that they are extremely comfortable, you can seriously not feel them. And they do absolute wonders in changing eye colour, especially as you can see on dark eyes. They were simply perfect for Sandal in our opinion and also the shipping was very very quick. It, it took no more than a week to come to England. So I was very very impressed with the overall quality. And I promise we were not influenced by the fact that we got these as a gift. We genuinely love them. So thank you to DI. And you will find all the details and the link to the lenses itself uh, in the description below. But anyway, on to the makeup now. So starting with base makeup, I used a primer, the Professional by Benefit, which I didn't show in the video unfortunately. Then I used those three products to lay down the flawless base. So do it however you prefer, as long as the skin looks pretty flawless and elvish. Then using the lighter half of the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, I used it to simultaneously bake and set the foundation. And we'll leave the powder on without brushing it off while we do the eye makeup. Onto the eyes using Collections Brow Kit and Blonde, I used the two light shades, I mixed them together and put them all over the inner part of the eye to darken that whole area as you can see. Also, don't forget to bring down the colour under the eye just a little bit and on the outer edge as well to make the eyes look more sunken in and older. Then using a handy dandy finger, I blend out the powder a little bit and then I go in with a brush afterwards to fade it out a little bit more and make it more smoky and more like a shadow rather than an eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and here we are. Don't worry if you're messy because we are about to get even messier. Then taking an almost black eyeshadow, I create a sort of a fake eyelid, mostly concentrating it on the outer edge of the eye and blending it out as I go with a finger as well as a brush. And taking the lighter powder again, I lighten the eyelids all over as well as lighten the black that I just put down. Taking some Damacol concealer, I shape the eyelid more, blending it with my finger and setting it with the same Wet n Wild contour powder. Once more taking the brow kit's lighter shade, I put a little bit on the outer edges of the eyelid to soften it. Finally, with a big soft brush, I brush off the powder. Using Hoola Light by Benefit, I start the face contour, concentrate on the outer edge of the face mostly. then a little bit down the nose in a straight line and under the nose as well, concentrating on making the nostrils pointier and sharper. Don't forget to blend. Taking Makeup Revolution to Cheeks Palette's lightest brown shade and a smaller but very soft brush, I deepen the contour on the most sunken in parts of the cheekbone, creating an angle going down the cheek a little and blending it. Spread the darker shade up to the temples and down just under the jaw as well. Create a little dip just on the sides of the chin.
and add some subtle shading above the cupid's bow and under the lower lip. Mixing the light and the darker browns from the same cheeks palettes, I darkened the nose contour especially under the nose and at the end of it. I dragged the contour up a little more to create a bit of a straighter nose but at the same time keeping the roundness in the very middle. You'll find that it's quite a lot of going back and forth trying to get the contour as close to Trendle's nose as possible, so try to consider your original nose shape first before deciding what to try and emphasize or add and what to try and hide or reduce. Of course always blend but not too much, just keep the contour there still. This is as I said a bit more of a severe contour so it might look quite odd at first. Grabbing the same light contour shade again, I literally just slap it all over to make the contour look a little less dirty and I simply dab the powder and leave it on. Now the brows. Using the same brow kit, though this time actually for brows, I take the two browns and shape the brows. I suggest looking at the reference to try and replicate them. Thrandall is known for his big brows, so don't be afraid to go a little bold, but I advise to try and exaggerate however simultaneously match them to your face shape. So if your face isn't too big, don't make the brows take up half your forehead kind of deal. Then I quickly grab a big fluffy brush and dust off the earlier powder and buff in the contour a little to blend it. Back to brows, I take the Demico concealer and shape around a little, as well as blending, also adding some to the hairs itself to make them a little grey. Finally, I add some last contour details around the eyes and nose as well as the mouth, making Ash look a little more mature. Blend everything well. Next, I take a brandless eBay contour palette and mix the white and the yellow powders to highlight areas such as tops of cheekbones, forehead, bridge, chin and etc. After that, I tight line the eye and line the top lid with W7 in the Nude Palette's black shade using a flat brush. Extend it just a tiny bit to make the eye appear a little longer. Blend it just a little to smoke it out as well. I add a little just under the tear duct too and blend that one very well. Then add a little more shading to the lid, blend well again. Finally, lips. First, I pale out the lips with Demacol concealer and again using the Cheeks palette, I mix the red, pink and reddish brown shades to replicate lip color and shape the lips. Once more, I suggest following a reference. I tried to make the cupid's bow rather prominent and I made the upper lip slightly darker than the bottom one. I extended the lip corners upwards and blended it slightly. Then I shaped the lips more and fixed any mistakes with the same concealer which I also used to add some last touch-ups to the face. And finally taking the highlight from the cheeks palette, I highlight the certain areas in the video as shown. First I use a very small flat brush to buff it in and then move on to the bigger fluffier brush for cheek highlight. And you're done! Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions comment below. Bye bye!